everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with a special review video of the Rinky Dual Easy Film Screen Protector. Now, I've already done a review on this screen protector before, but I get a lot of questions about it. And it's not the easiest thing in the world to install if you're not familiar with it. And some of the stuff that's out there doesn't really make it where you can figure it out on your own, which is good that it comes with two in the box, but you want to save that extra one. You won't have to waste it after you go through the process of figuring out how to install it. So what I did is I went and I made a detailed installation video so you can see all the different steps and you can see some of the little tricks and the method for putting it on properly the first time instead of having to go back and do it again later or messing it up. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. I got two here. I actually used two phones in this video. One I used my, uh, my Pixel 3a XL and I also used my Samsung Galaxy S10. So if you see the two different phones in there, uh, that's why, because I went back and recorded another section after the fact so I could be a little more precise with the instructions on how to apply the screen protector. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Rinky Dual Easy Film and how to install it. All right, so before I get to the installation, I wanted to show off exactly what this looks like once it's done, if installed properly. It is a gorgeous screen protector and it has a nice velvety smooth finish on it. So it's really one of the better ones that's out there and I enjoy using it on several of my phones. So as with any screen protector installation, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you clean it. It does have a wet wipe that is in the box with it, and it's actually pretty neat because it smells like those little uh, lemon hand wipes that you get, the lemon scented ones, which I, I personally like, but either way, uh, go ahead and make sure you clean it off. Make sure you take the case off as I did there to make sure you can clean it properly, and then use the included microfiber cloth so you can go ahead and get any remaining residue or debris that might be on there before you start the installation of the screen protector. All right, so once you've got it cleaned, you wanna go ahead and make sure you line up the screen protector when you put it on the phone. Now, it is slightly forgiving when you do this because the bottom layer, the number one layer that you take off is uh, actually kind of like a sticky. Uh, it's like a, like a big piece of tape, really. You put it down and then it takes any of the fuzz or the leftover debris or stuff that might be left on the phone. So it's really nice that they build this into the screen protector installation itself instead of having to use some little sticker or piece of tape on the side. It's an all-in-one, which is really nice. So make sure you go ahead and you apply it um, evenly across the phone. Make sure all the adhesive sticks. And then once you do that, you want to get this little squeegee, which is, is kind of like felt-tipped. And what we're going to do is as you pull it back, you see how that plastic piece separates. Then we're going to just apply a little bit of pressure and push that little squeegee part forward, and it's going to put the screen protector onto the top part of the phone. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the bottom side. So you pull it back, once you pull it back, you can see as it bends there, there's that crease and it starts to separate. So once you have that, you go ahead and push with the squeegee, same thing, apply pressure and scoot it all the way down towards the bottom of the screen. And that's how you deal with the separation of the screen protector portions on there and it allows you to get it installed properly. That's probably the most important step in this whole process. Now, once you go ahead and get that done, go ahead and squeegee it out, pull that last top layer off, and then you can get any remaining little sections where there might be bubbles or areas that the adhesive is not stuck on there. Now, this is a full adhesion screen protector, just like typical film style ones, and you may get some small bubbles underneath it. I've had questions about bubbles, about the little crease in the middle, and you'll actually see there's going to be a small crease in the middle of this one. That's where that screen divider is for the two sections for the top and bottom, but uh, I'll show you with the other phone, because I used the two different phones for the installation on this video. You'll see that after about 24 to 48 hours, it will go away. And if it doesn't, you have the second screen protector in case you messed it up. All right, so that's all I've got on the screen protector installation. As you can see, if you follow the steps properly, you'll get a wonderful outcome, just like here on my Pixel 3a XL. Now, like I said, there sometimes is a little bit of a crease in the middle, or there might be some small little bubbles. But as it adheres to the screen and uh, goes through a little bit of a curing process over the 24 to 48 hours, then those pretty much go out, they, they go away. Uh, this one, I had a couple small little bubbles and just a faint little crease whenever I did it. And, you know, I get a lot of questions where people come back and say, oh, it's been six hours, it hasn't gone away yet. Give it 24 to 48 hours. If it's still there at 48 hours, then you're going to go ahead and need to use the secondary screen protector to install it. And hopefully you won't run into those issues. But hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, I thought about it because I've installed probably six or seven of these myself, and the first couple of times, it didn't really go the way that I would have liked for it have to have gone, so I wanted to make this so you can be informed and you can take a look at it, and ideally, you can use the video even as a step-by-step -step guide as you install yours. So hopefully this has been helpful, 
And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. I'll get back with you. And thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.